friends, you are watching Erudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello yes, today I'm going to show harmonic analysis of a fixed beam using cyclic loading. Let us see the statement of the problem. It is a beam of total length 1 meter and it is fixed at both the ends. From the mid position, vertically we will have to apply a cyclic load of 100 Newton and the frequency range will be 0 to 300 hertz. The beam is having cross sectional area of 0 0.01 meter by 0 0.01 meter, right? Material property provided as modulus of elasticity is 2.068 10 to the 11 Newton per meter square. Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 and density is 7830 kg per meter cube, right? So without wasting time, let us start the analysis. First of all, we need to create a directory and in that directory, we need to save everything. We are not doing that one. Next to that, we need to change the title of this analysis. We are keeping the name of the title as FEA6. Okay. To see the title, we can click plot replot. It will show the title at the lower left corner. Next to that, we need to start from preferences. It is a structural analysis. And next to that, we need to select elemental properties. It will be coming from preprocessor. So element type, add, edit, delete. Nothing is defined, so we need to add it. We are considering beam with 3D finest strain. Okay. Let us close it. Next to that, we need to provide material properties. Material models. Structural, linear elastic and isotropic isotropic means material property remains same in all directions modulus of elasticity is 2.068 into 10 to the power 11 newton per meter square so it is 2.068 e11 and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 done next to that we need to provide density it is 7830 kg per meter cube so it is 7830 kg per meter cube. Okay, done. Material properties provided. Next to that, we need to select sections. Beam comma sections and it is having cross section area of 0 0.01 meter by 0 0.01 meter. So you can provide breadth equal to 0 0.01 and height also 0 0.01 meter. Okay, done. Next to that, we need to start modeling. And here in this case, we can create either nodes or key points. Let us create nodes. In active coordinate system, first node will be created at origin. So apply. First node is created. Second node will be created at a distance of 0 0.5 meter because total length of the beam is actually 1 meter. So second node location is 0 0.5 meter from the origin applied and the third node will be created at, at a distance of 1 meter from the origin. One done. We have created three different nodes. Now these three different nodes to be joined in the form of elements. It is having single cross section so we need not depend on elemental attributes. So directly you can join these nodes auto numbered through nodes. Select node 1 and node 2, apply, then select node 2 and node 3, okay. So our element is ready. We have got two different elements and in between two different elements, we are having total three nodes. First element is in between node number 1 and 2. Second element is in between node number 2 and 3. Next to that, we need to provide boundary conditions. So solution, analysis type new analysis and it is a harmonic analysis okay analysis options we are considering full method and printout format is real and imaginary okay and tolerance we are considering this one as 1 e minus 8 okay next to that we need to apply boundary conditions so define loads apply structural displacement on nodes it will be fixed at both the ends so select node number one and node number three okay and all degrees of freedom should be having zero displacement so the 
nodes 1 and 3 is completely fixed next one we need to apply a force so force movement on nodes let us select node number 2 and okay we need to apply a load of 100 newton and the direction will be y as the force will be directing downwards direction so we can apply this one as minus 100 newton and the imaginary part of that force will be zero okay force is applied in the downward direction next to that we need to see load step options time frequency and from their frequency and sub steps so we are keeping the harmonic range from 0 to 300 and number of sub steps will be 100 and it will be stepped okay let us solve it solve current ls okay solution is done now we can see our results from time history post processing first of all we need to add data from here and it will be y component of displacement let us select the location from which we want to see the response node number two selected okay done now we can see the results in the form of listing so this is the data that can be transferred to excel and we can have a better view of graphs right we can save this one also now the most important part that is the response in the form of graphs can be viewed from here itself let us see the graph so this is the response you can see maximum displacement is occurring at a frequency of approximately 130 hertz right to have the better representation of this graph we can change the orientation so plot controls style graphs modify axis instead of y scale as linear we can change it to logarithmic and let us view it so this is the response with this one we will conclude our today's analysis this is a very simple harmonic analysis of a beam which is fixed at both the ends okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye if you are liking this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye